sitting here in New York City right now at Round Hill Music with uh, living legend, Mr. G. Tom Mack. If you're like me, he defined a very significant part of your formative years from 1986 on, kind of providing what I call the soundtrack of my, my growing up a little bit. Lost Boys was such a huge movie for me growing up, and that song, Cry Little Sister, was just so present for, for me and for a lot of my friends, so it's an honor to be to be hanging out with you and talking about this uh, today, and how The Lost Boys is still very much a big part of your life right now. Well, thank you, first of all, and um, the... Yeah, I mean, it's been a big part of my life. Watching Lost Boys, the music is such a key, you know, I mean, yeah. the music, especially your theme, you know, I can't imagine that movie not having that theme. I never yeah. thought in my wildest dreams that that, you know, would go on to have the life that it's had of like, of what, 53 movies I've done, you know, music too, there's been some pretty cool stuff, but it just had its, you know, there are fans of mine that mm -hmm. come to my shows that have never seen the movie, they know the song, yeah. and that's why they came, and I... You're missing half of what it is if you don't see this movie. It's, it's just an aura about it, though. I mean, the, yeah. you know, when I first saw the movie, it was way before the days of the internet and being able to look up what was the song that played at this scene in that movie. So my friends and I, it's what we called it the Ten Commandments song. Because yeah, it was I mean, it, it, people and, didn't even know who did it back then. When, when the internet, to that point, when the internet did come into play, uh, meaning like the early days of MySpace yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, social media, if you will, I mean, even on YouTube, putting up my song up against film, or, yeah. you know, a piece of where the film played or whatever, making up your own little videos to it and saying it was Sisters of Mercy. And I thought, well, why Sisters of Mercy? Then I realized in the advent of all things with um, Napster, when, when, Napster when, when that all came into play, <laughs> on those sheets were Cry Little Sister, Sisters of Mercy. There was an assumption made because nobody really <laughs> bothered to look at the real <laughs> album cover and go, wow. okay, Gerard McMahon, that's what you know, my yeah. name is, and that's what it was back then. I, we all went like, what? You know, so yeah. over time, and thank God early days, we caught it. We yeah. told people, hey, we don't want to take it down, but just properly say who it's Sure, from. sure, okay. So, yeah, to, that, to your point, there was nobody really knew for the longest time until I went back out on the road and started doing a lot of conventions mm -hmm. and things like that. I was in New York when I wrote Cry Little Sister. Joel Schumacher, the director, had gotten in touch with me. He mm -hmm. was a fan of my work. Uh, I didn't know him that well. I'd met him. He'd come to one of my gigs back in the day. And I said, would you like to write a theme song to my new movie? It's a movie called Lost Boys. It's a vampire movie. And I thought, wow, cool. I said, well, when can I take a look at the film? Yeah. And uh, he said, well, we're shooting. But I thought maybe you might get the inspiration by if you read the script, I could send it on to you. And I said, uh, well, let's have a look. I've never done that before. I'd always watch the movie to get a vibe, to see the thread of how the characters were flowing. Right. He sent me on the script, Warner's sent it over, and I just thought it was funny, horror, and that thing meeting in the middle. And I remember getting up the following morning after reading it the night before, and, um, sat down at the piano, had my guitar that was just going back and forth and started getting a vibe and then before you knew it I was heading up to my studio to make a demo of it and didn't have any lyrics yet and as I was going up to the studio I started hearing a chorus in my head and you know it was like New York back then it was like crack dens here and yeah. then, you know it was like a you you I don't know you're probably too young <laughs> we weren't that was when we weren't allowed to go to the city by ourselves yeah right yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like they're not allowed to go but we all still did anyway you know but I thought I was allowed to yeah. go <laughs> I was still immature at that time as well um still am <laughs> uh, but, but it was the defining moment just getting in a cab just sort of, everything just sort of came as it did and then a friend of mine, Mike Minieri, who's a jazz guy, was in another room, and he had another studio room, and he was pounding away on this beat. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, that's the groove to my song. I said, what is that? And he said, oh, I'm just working on something for, I think we were trying to figure something out for an advert or something. Uh -huh. I said, come on, give me that. And <laughs> I just took that beat, and I just kept taking what I already had, and started implementing those factors, and I started building upon them what was to be the demo at that point. Yeah. I sent the demo to Joel, having no idea if he'd even like it, and rang me back in about three, five days later. 
I was having a horrible hangover. I remember that. <laughs> and I could hear those, I had an answer phone, one of those old answer phones, and I could yeah. hear his voice coming over the answer phone machine. Yeah. And uh, saying, pick up, G, <laughs> pick up. This is, so he called me by my real name, Gerard. And I'm going, what is he, who is that? And I could hear the song, the demo in the background. <laughs> I'm going, well, that's interesting. So I go out and I pick up, and he says, how did you know? And how do I know what? He said, your song is perfect. I want it everywhere. It's the theme to my movie. You, this is amazing. I, I, I had no idea you would come up with something. If you could only see how this is working yeah. against what we're doing. And I'm going like, all right. Um, I think I need to go back to bed, Joe. Can I call you later? <laughs>